Yo, what's up, so, so, so. Welcome back to another episode of the Disruption Podcast. Cuties. Yes. <laughs> episode, one, <laughs> episode 182. Is it? It is. It is. It is. It is, wow. it is indeed. It is. Closing us. in on that 200. Hey, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this around with some people. I actually legitimately looked at the YouTube statistics and mm. 54% of people that watch on YouTube are not subscribed. Wow. wow. So That's very rude. Ridiculous. That's actually disgusting, babe. <laughs> and I need I'm actually flabbergasted. Yeah. That's a good word. Very great word. Flabbergasted. Wow. Flabbergasted. Behavior. flabbergasted. Mm. You're flabbergasted. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> 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 I didn't keep it at all, bro. I said flabbergasted. Yo, it's the back daddy. It's Chief of Osage in the building, baby. It's your girl, Moezy. It's the prince. What's happening? Uh. Doing a bit of BTS. Who we joined back? <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not it just feels like a bro, friend. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I actually like, forgot we got a yeah. guest. It's not even a guest. It's not even a guest. It's just a Donnie we found on the streets. It was such an accident. He's still wearing his <laughs> shirt from 1993. Oh, bro. My All of that, man. Oh, man. No, nah, nah. he came out drippy. What's your name, bro? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, no, nah, okay. This <laughs> man needs to get off he's this. Shy, he's shy. He's shy. He's shy. First time on a podcast. First time on a pod. He doesn't know how to talk. He's never had this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. Nah, this guy's <laughs> disgusting. Nice to, uh, nice to meet y'all. This is your digital footprint. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, nah. True. Hey, yo, my name is Jeremy. Yeah. Um, that's better. What's poppin', what's poppin'? Yo. Yep. Know what I'm saying? What's going on? What's going hey, on? Hey, what are you doing here today, bro? Like, um, you weren't even meant to be here, bro. That's what happened was I was walking down the street, yeah. <laughs> Just then, trying to uh, find my next meal. <laughs> right. Yeah, with my... Yeah, that, that, I can go fast, too. Yeah. With my bean bag. Yeah. And um, Daniel saw me. Mm. And he was being a good Christian. In this Samaritan story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he said, come here. And here he is, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In his room. Like in his room. Damn, bro. Oh. Why are you not taking this? Nah, nah. I was, I don't uh, nah, on the real day. Yeah. I don't even know what happened, to be honest. We just said, yo, try and jump on the pod. And then uh, here he is. Sometimes yeah. it's nice to just have friends. Involved. Bro, okay. I don't think we've ever, I mean, we've had friends. We can't say we've never Ryan had friends. But just for the sake of Ryan. That was a, had a purpose. That was a quality episode. Yeah. Yeah. Did he though? Ryan what? just came on for the vibes. Oh, he did actually. He, he really just came for the vibes. Episode 100. We just wanted to. Oh, that was 9.5. 9.5. Wow. That's 5. how you know we actually have. So we this is technically episode 183. Oh, because like we're we had a point five. But let's not do that for yeah, logistics. This is yeah, episode yeah, yeah. 182. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we've, so we've had Ryan Amelia on before. Friend. Amelia though was on. But that was Amelia had a purpose. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Back when she was a healthcare. I said back. Jeremy actually doesn't have a purpose today. This guy's here for no reason. If you guys expected a subject matter expert, what do you think? What do you think? There's three of us in one table. We did prepare for this. I thought it was like, come on, Jeremy. Oh my gosh, it's so important. Yeah, no, this is not a single thing. Yeah, matching, matching. They say just come on. What's the vibe? Whenever we're talking about a homie and we mention Jeremy, this is the man right here, man. Oh, we're here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to. I had, to us. I had a thought earlier today. Um, are you? What's? I want to see the split here. I actually don't know, which is mad. You're right-handed, yeah, Daniel. Yeah, Marwa. Right. You are the only left-handed Cast? person right. on this podcast. Radio. Right, I'm left-handed. Yes. Yeah. Statistically, ten percent of people are left-handed. Okay. Yeah. Right now, we're sitting at twenty percent, yeah. which is twenty percent here, mm-hmm. right? Which is crazy. It's because I was in a meeting this morning. There were six people, and four of us were left-handed. Oh. Yeah, which is very odd. Yeah. Mm. And I was like. Bro, if it's if you have two hands and like <laughs> like, like everyone's born with two hands, majority mm-hmm. people, yeah. Chances are you're gonna use either one, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, why is it not fifty fifty? And then so I was like, bro, okay, if it's ten percent, is this a disability, bro? Is that <laughs> oh a disability? My I mean, think about this. Does your paper end up smudged when you write? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. A disability. Can you write on a whiteboard without <laughs> causing a mess behind you? Yeah, so you he might be a bit okay. Being a minority That's doesn't he's mean painting it's a right, disability. Yeah, yeah. Now you just grab the words. Just <laughs> you put no, because you know? it it's a physical thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but still, but it doesn't mean it doesn't make you less capable of doing things. He can't it just write. makes you like, more on a paper. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Need his handwriting in this room as well. No, 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 they do. For I don't when you can read it. Overtime, when you bro. can read it. We have to turn the page this <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, but look at the way you guys have to write it. It's a bit mad. It's it's yeah, that's They're true. Out yeah, here with it's, the, it's because I, I have a disability. <laughs> Man's doing left angle to write. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Elba doing this. Yeah, it's mad. It's mad. Yeah. It's mad. It's mad. Uh-huh. Damn. So do you just, is, you just write 
with your left hand? Is there anything else you use? No, that's the only thing I use. <laughs> wait, right Carlos, wait, wait. Wait, no, what else? What else? Wait, can we just expand further on what Carlos thought he was going Okay, I'll give you an example. What else would he write? So, example, let's say you're playing sports. He only use it. He worded it weird. Yeah. He only use it to write. I thought was trying to figure out how else do you write, bro, with what else? No, 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 but I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah, like, what do you do outside of? Yeah, like, like, you, like when you play mm. basketball, do you shoot with your left or you your right? No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, what about <laughs> foot? Are you left? Your left as well, yeah. Um, that's um MB. Uh, what a hot guy! Bro, your both, yeah? is, bro. What, 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 so what a hot guy! But that's yeah. both, bro. <laughs> Love that for you. I'm him. Okay. Um, nah, nah, hey, hey, but how was your last week? Was a very big week for everybody. Nice, like you two. So, sorry, I couldn't be there, guys. Oh, that's alright. But yeah, I wanna. Hear about all the Ma was there too, yeah. Not gonna lie, the Ma whole year there. we've all been whatever. Buffed. So that story was a fraud. Wait, oh, no, what, you wait what are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you were there to about what? Ah, uh, man. Oh, us. yes, yes, sorry, yes, I was there. Uh. Well, let's, start from the, let's start from the start of the week. So obviously, yeah. To be honest, we haven't even touched on what you did the week beforehand. So oh, like, we've you, actually we we've had a busy period. Okay, you start off with yours, Tell and then us. we jump into so that. I think, uh, like, you dive into it, man. Let's let people hear what we're gonna say. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, been, been, we've been active, bro, and we're actually getting more active. The year just phenomenal. started. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I'm very scared for where it's going. But right. carry on. Celebrity. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. So, what's this last? Not last week, but the week beforehand. Um, shout out to Muhammad Semra and NW Youth mm -hmm. and Most Social Impact. They put together an event for like 450 or 500 high schoolers from mm -hmm. nine or 11 schools mm -hmm. um, all over Melbourne. They came together and I guess they were kind of just like, <coughs> the main aim was just having a multicultural day in the, not in like the sense of celebrating the different cultures, but in seeing the different cultures presented in different areas. Mm -hmm. So it was very dope. Um, shout out to like Angelica, seeing someone like, young and the spokesperson for the united nation for youth in australia you know like mm -hmm. that that kind of thing for people to see that is crazy mm -hmm. um to see uh people doing entrepreneurship and mm -hmm. like creative uh, endeavors to see hear like stories digital marketing people like it was very cool mm -hmm. and so myself uh titan and wintana did a um panel on creative space um mm -hmm. and it was man it was very very cool seeing like so many kids like <coughs> Man, borderline geek out about the disruption podcast and like, oh, no, yeah, no. like, love that, love you that, know, like genuinely like showing me like, yo, I've watched every single video. <coughs> that's mad. That's like, cool. it, was, it was very, very that's cool. Love, like, love, love. um, yeah, actually also touch. Oh, damn! Oh, that one, that, that one, that one left. Do you no, get your shots? no, you're going so do good, you bro. Do I need to write that one down? <laughs> no, no, I was talking about impact and then uh, drop that joke. All I heard from Noah was, "Do you did you get your shots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have your passport? <laughs> no, nah, but but yeah, it was it was very dope. So that was a great great experience. Um, yeah, it was nice. Got to rep TD doing that. Hopefully, the video of that comes out soon as well, so mm. people can check that out. Oh, um, I think there'll be mo there's definitely another one next year happening. Mm. Hopefully, one of you guys can run it back on behalf of TDE. Talk about disruption again. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because in a year's time we would have grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then from there, what happened? You guys might want to jump onto this from here. Pause. Um, fam, it was crazy. <laughs> it was <laughs> crazy. Um, what the heck even happened, man? What well, the camp, right? Is that what you're trying to Bro, we ran a youth camp, and okay, this is what I want to say. I mean, we haven't spoken about the last thing that I guess is the most recent thing that happened, which was the yeah. panel. But the back-to-back -back <laughs> has just been a constant knock-on effect. Even when I had a meeting today with someone, we're talking about one thing, then he goes, oh, you're actually, you're doing this, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, I was also seeing something, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're actually part of that as well. Mm. Like, wait, like, people are seeing yeah. different, different things, not even, at, like, recognizing who's involved and who's yeah. tapped into these different elements. And it's always us. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And it's always us. Right, I don't think he's going to walk out this room because his head can't fit through. <laughs> There's two doors now. <coughs> but we did, a, we did a youth camp, man. First one in Australia. First Africa. That was it was an hour. Because yeah, yeah, so. no key, yeah. bro, the funniest thing is, I was going through my phone today. Because you know how Apple kind of does like a summary oh and puts yeah. a video together for yeah. you? Yeah. They actually brought up the one we did three years ago. Oh, yeah. So maybe this is not the first time. Yeah, I can I after just all. now as we were talking, I remembered where we've definitely been a part of another one before. That was all. But that was, <laughs> that was, that was an all African facility. Yeah, because the leaders were African. It was an African facility, but it was African yeah. like mm. kids. But anyways, yeah, so cool. we were on um, a camp in the past couple, yeah, the past week, essentially. Who's we? Oh. Gang. 
Like, myself. do it quick. But to be honest, this me. is this is the only reason why I actually got Jeremy. He's meant to, Jeremy was actually yeah, meant man. to be here just for a segment. I'm not mm. going to lie. Yeah, that's when I spoke to him, I said, we're going to talk about the camp on the podcast yes, for like man. five minutes. I thought he said, do you want to come uh, and, and chat for a little bit? Because, you know, he's one yeah, of the nah, founders right, as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, somehow he's sitting here from uh, start to finish. He's going to be here till nah, finish. Hey, so. That's what happened, yeah. <laughs> happened, yeah. I was going to say, Jeremy, you want to pull up tomorrow? I said, yeah, pull up. Oh, go, go. So I pulled up. Then he goes, hey, you're in here for two minutes. I said, nah, big man. <laughs> <laughs> you said yesterday, yeah. <laughs> Let me get comfy. <laughs> Bro, this guy said, hey, what's the added to this podcast studio? I was like, yeah, nah, the guy is here for the full thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, thing, bro. But um, yeah, nice. man. We ran the first slash second African youth camp mm. that's happened in Australia. Mm. The first good one. The first, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Proper we'll one. We'll take that. But it was it was crazy. I mean, then how soon we'll do another one just um because we need to all take a rest, definitely, yeah, from what we've encountered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like honestly, seeing the impact and pulling I think the best part for me was being able to see how many different people that we could pull together. Oh man. Especially people that the kids could recognize too. Oh, big facts, yeah. But then being able to see that's those right. people in ISO situations with the kids just having conversation yeah. and the kids mm. pouring out like life, their heart and things like that. That was like the that. one, yeah. It's like yeah. seeing them being able to connect. <laughs> I don't know why this guy was <laughs> like, but, but seeing them being able to connect and it's like, yo, this like this kid is like seeing someone who they've probably been look, either That's looking good. up to yeah. or That's they really keep nice. something and it's like they have the opportunity right now actually have a deeper connection with them and I'm like yo that, that right there because that that this is what it's for because you're right we, we had all the big guns in the in the room i said mm. the big guns now nah, because that's how we had samurai again yeah 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 because yeah. yeah. we had yeah. um, yeah. yeah. um because Lydia was there bittersweet girls were there Lydia was there Lydia was there Sagali was there and that's what i mean about the big guns you know because i was talking to jamal one of the guest speakers he was he was like man you guys got all the big guns he's this is the part that killed me he was like if these kids don't change no one can change you. That was a funny guy. Oh, but Jeremy, how was your experience at the camp? No, it was good, man. It was good, particularly regarding like how we're trying to enter that space with like young people and stuff. So I think the best part for me was seeing that happen as well, like seeing mm. people like Barissa, Sagali, Edmund, like having this one-on-one conversation with the kids as well. And like, like seeing even the kids see something in them that they sort of see in themselves. Yeah. It was, it, was, it was a very good experience as well. And then also seeing... There's kind of a bad side to it as well. Like p- part of the things that the kids are experiencing is like mm. universal, and kids thinking about particular things at an age, thinking about things like the black tax and things like that, and like year seven, grade six age, which is not mm-hmm. the best for like mental health and stuff for young people. But like having them connect with someone who looks like them, who's done what they've done, is really really cool. And even just having the mix of like the facilitators mm. who are like six, five, six years older, and then mm. getting Jamal, who comes from like a similar environment to them, and has gone to very much the other side of life in terms yeah. of what he's doing and in terms of like the life that he lives as well. So that was really, really cool. Yeah, and I was... And then connecting with the kids as well, like having one-on-one convos, they're telling you about life, about this thing, and how open the kids were, like, to what's going on with their life. And then, like, yeah, and I was, it was a mad experience, man. It was very... Um, That's awesome. Deeply... So enriching. Mm. Yeah. Not gonna lie, them kids are lucky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, this guy said nah, nah, nah. To be honest, like <laughs> we didn't have this. Right, this is those, you know, those parents that make money and like now they don't want their kids to have anything. <laughs> nah, right. yeah, yeah, this, this nah, nah. To be honest, they're, they're lucky, bro. Because um, shout out to Ladan. She actually, you know, was the person that put like Auntie. you know she put all this together and and got you know AYA, which is the organization, to come on board and actually run mm-hmm. this right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nah, she was just like guys, you, you know. Th- we don't have an African camp. Mm. You know what I mean? Where it's like a camp in which we listen to our own music if you want to. Like we were blasting Burner mm. Boy and all that. You know, nice, and, and nice. obviously we're all Africa, so we kind of understand. We had cultural food, man. We can't mm. forget that, bro. We yeah. had some money food there and all, all, all that kind of stuff. That's the part that got to me, bro. When the kids were saying like, this is like, I think like the year 10, year 11 girls were saying, this is like the first time I've gone to a camp and I get to be myself. Yeah. Oh, wow. like, I didn't feel judged. Oh, wow. that was like, I was like, damn, that's like, and then thinking of like how we interact in society, like what's the default? <laughs> I'm yeah. saying so I was really so mad. That was yeah. very, very, It's very like you're mad. a camp, but you're at home. If, if yeah. like, you, know, you know what I mean? Like mm. even, you know, obviously within Africa, so within your groups, you have your slangs and you have certain yeah. stuff, right? It's like they can go to camp and continue on with that the whole time yeah, rather than mad. being with camp uh, and then with I've everybody never else. never heard mom's life more than I ever. Bro, Bro. 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 Mom's Bro. life just slaps right there. now. I was, Bro. Bro. I was like, I was like, wait, what? Nah, trust. And I'm just like, <laughs> not going to Everyone came back, the mom's dead. <laughs> 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 It was pig. Yo, mom yeah. is the, oh the amount of mom's lives and souls that have been Yeah, I'm I'm not not I can't lie to you, bro. I came back and I started saying, well, I hear everything. It's mad. Yeah, 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 but, but, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, You're so comfortable and being I'm able G. to do that because they know everybody that understands mm. this kind of stuff. I got right? a question for you. It was popping. How old do you guys think you are right now? Not age-wise, obviously, but where do, you, yeah, where do you think you fit? 
Now nah, depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by depends on the day? So sometimes I'm six, seven. Six, like, seven. Nah, that's yeah. mad. Nah, mad. <laughs> <laughs> then I can't lie. On on crip, it's yeah. Sometimes I'm six, seven. Sometimes I'm forty two. No, what what okay, <laughs> right. What do you at? I think I generally like still. Like, where do you sit? Yeah, give me a myself, general. Myself generally, I'm like twenty one, twenty two. Okay. Yeah, like it. Twenty one, twenty two. In my head, I'm. Still what is that? that? Um, it's like. What does that contain? Well, that's very interesting. That. Hmm. That, 21, that's that phase, yeah. And and why do you why think, do you think you you're that, that age? Yeah, because yeah. like it, I don't know. It's just like because I realize I'm not a young adult. I mean, young adult, but it's like we're getting closer to closer thirty to than 30, twenty yeah. now. You know. Nice. When did you realize you were older? Like, you I, honestly, I still don't feel like I'm old. Like no part of me feels old. Mad. It looks. You when? saying twenty one too? Yeah, I'll say that. The reason why I say that. Is like when you're still, <laughs> which is weird, but when you're still able to connect with these young ones that, and, under, and understand, mm. like the example, the slangs that they're using, and like I get that, you know, like I understand. I'm but not that's like music. You think that's a music thing, though, bro. No, nah, but you know, some people nah, nah, tap they, out of being when you actually relatable. tap out. Yeah, yeah. when you actually yeah. tap now, nah, bro. When you actually tap out, it's like, like what does this kind of mean? Like yeah. I, 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 for me, there was never a point where I'm there. Like, wait, what? You know what I mean? Like mm. I understood everything, everything even, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though I didn't use it, but I understood it. That's very interesting because like. I have like a different thing of like where I'm seeing that, yeah. But because of like the conversation at other spaces that I'm in, like on this thing, yeah, then I, I view myself as older than what I actually am. Mm. And then on the other days when I'm like at home, hey, now, quick question, yeah. Do you guys get tired of being adult, bro? <laughs> Wait, no, this kind of goes into what you're saying nah, about that. Yeah, we'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. That I, I, I can't lie, bro. At home, I'm childish because I'm tired, bro. <laughs> I, yeah. no, 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 no. Okay, that just means home is a safe space. Nah, That's actually kind of nice. Nah, That's, That's like, you know, the, like those men that like to act. Not, and no, I'm not telling you, yeah, yeah, like not like you know, all the way baby talk. That's too much for me. But it's like even, even that you were a baby yeah. talk. I, I, I was trying to hold <laughs> that relationship together. But like that is a sign of like yo, you're just comfortable. You're here. comfortable, okay, yeah, you know for, I mean? sure. Mm. for nah, sure. Because that could be home for you. Bro, it's mad. Yeah. Yeah. Just you get your that. pants on. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> Mama, poo -poo. <laughs> yeah, nice <laughs> man. Like, am I angry? Nah, you guys are sick. No, 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 no. A 25 year old. Up, up, up. A 25 year old screaming out, Mama, hey, hungry? Hey, like hey, there's no way you guys talk like talk on the podcast like you talk in real life. That's mad. Nah, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I think you guys are That is the funniest thing ever. It's a picture already starting. Um, mm. Nah, like I think, for teen, yeah, I think sometimes like my like my family and my parents here, yeah, they're very surprised in terms of like when they come and see yeah. me in a particular space here, yeah, like what I'm doing and like yeah, the level I'm doing it at. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm at home, <laughs> but I'm on my bed. I'm doing hella childish things, bro. Mm. Like, yeah, it's mad. It's bro, it's mad. actually funny you say that because like sometimes I'll be, I don't know, like the, I ran the meeting for the volunteers for the camp, right? And I'm mm. talking and my sister, I could tell she was watching it. And also after she was just like, not mesmerized, I don't use that word, but she was looking like, who the heck is this guy talking about? <laughs> yeah, like talking this, bare profession. This is who you are, mate. Conveying all that. I'm like, okay, it is funny how, yeah, they must see it completely it's different. different yeah. I thought it was switching up, but maybe switching off. Loki, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that same thing of like, you know when you're in school and you find out your teacher has kids? Yeah. 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 Like, no, no. <laughs> like, oh, she has Facebook. Yeah, that one there. Or she has a first name. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, what? Yeah, that, is, that, is, is that actually the same level, bro? I'm not going to lie. It's actually mad, bro. It's actually mad. Yeah. But, yeah, but right, so like what? Twenty one is what we're seeing, and then you're saying yeah. six and forty two. That depends, yeah. man. Just gonna average that out. <laughs> that's just <laughs> crazy. What are you guys? You ain't laughing, Mo. That's your same age. Oh, you saying? I know I'm the same age, and people make me like they make it known that I am the age that I am. So <laughs> like, yeah. people don't make me feel <laughs> like How old do you I don't think? think I'm out of touch, but apparently I am. Apparently I, because yeah. Daniel's sisters are <laughs> like what. They're under the age of 19 altogether, right? Mm -hmm. Or the two younger ones. Mm -hmm. And so they make it seem like I'm just so out of touch, that I'm just so old, that I just don't know what's going on. I don't know the lingo, but I'm like, my guy, I do know the lingo. I do understand it. But that was, I mean, you call me auntie all the time too. And that's not to say that, you know, you make me feel old and stuff. But like, I feel like everyone that's around me, they kind of treat me like the old person. You give that vibe though. You give like a very it's caring. It's vibe though. Nah, like, since also a caring person is just yeah, an old person. Yeah. Hey man, gang the gang. <laughs> I think, I think like like the first time, yeah, like the first time I met you, mm. I said, like, "That's a very like caring person, bro." Mm. And, like, you're just an auntie, bro. Like even, <laughs> <laughs> even like your demeanor, like the way you like, like the way you're sitting right now. Uh -huh. Where's your auntie right now, bro? <laughs> nice. Wait, that's drag. So is that drag? Is that drag? <laughs> Jump up! I don't know. <laughs> so, if, so if people view you as an auntie, yeah, does it mean like they can't be childish around you? 
No, I'm more childish right now. Yeah. Ask her. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. No, he but you know what I'm saying? But like, like if someone, because for me, that's how I view it. Like, mm. If I feel someone is like an auntie or uncle, I feel like I can't be childish yeah. ar- around them. Well, that's crazy because then that means your experiences with your aunties and uncles, you can't be free, bro. You can't yeah. be free. Yeah. Yeah. being free or not? <laughs> that's mad. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> just diagnose yeah, 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 it maybe depends on your own ones, but mm. but ultimately across the board is like you respect your auntie. Right? So, then, so, 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 so you feel like you can't be like can't mess childish. up around them. And this is what I wanted to ask nice her because Ma was talking about how other people make her feel, and mm. then I was I'm asking you guys how what oh, you I feel. feel. So I'm wondering, does that ever align? Like in mm. terms of oh, like yeah, how other people are viewing you? Obviously, it'll be very different if you're talking about like a twelve year old. A twelve year old is definitely gonna think that you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. When we were 12, bro, 21 12 was 45. looks at me like a peer, bro, that's an issue. It's bro. a problem, yeah. That's an issue. <laughs> <laughs> bro, imagine their friends, oh, let's go talk to someone. You don't know anything. Yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, yeah, like, okay, I wonder, yeah, what, I mean, for me, yeah, I very much feel exactly kind of this age right now. You feel 25. But for me, I think the difference is because I always play on that whole thing that I'm younger than everyone here. Mm. But, I think because of the experience during high school, I've always been the younger one. Mm. So that makes me still very much feel this age. Whereas I always make the people that are older than me feel <laughs> look a lot older very than ageist. they are kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What you say, I'm ageist? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I'll have a good con- conversation around this whole thing. Okay, age yeah. Thing. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know, we're trying to get through this whole thing. Send, send it, bro. Send All right, what do you guys think is the prime, like, if uh, just generally, if I say, what is a woman's prime oh, year? Oh, yeah, only a woman. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's specific. Yeah. Right, yeah. We'll yeah. start with yeah. that. What do, we, what do you guys think is I a think man's prime? Just, wait, wait, just, just to cushion the real conversation yeah. you want what's, to what's have. What's prime? <laughs> <laughs> they're just prime. It's just relevant. It's because okay. the, the topic yeah. that yeah. I'm going uh, from is a yeah. woman. Just, that do I have to just give one answer? Just generally, what do you think a man's prime is? 30. A man's prime? Yeah. Because I'm looking also including like physical aspect of it as well. Like that's known as, yeah. Which is what they normally say. We're meant to be... Physical peak at 30. Yeah. Our peak to 13. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a decline or a plateau <laughs> since? Because like prime, like your good 30? career, your good <coughs> physique. One age or like a range? Uh, could be a range. I would say. But you can't give it a 25 year range. You yeah. Yeah. Nah, I think from about like 28, 38 18. to about 45. I think okay. Yeah. Why do you say that? That's peak? Because that's like okay, I see, career I see and mean. stuff. And also mm. if, you, if you're still. If you've looked after you yourself well. Yeah. And also like mental, emotional maturity, family stuff. Every by the time you have like balance out your family and all okay. that kind of stuff, like all those kind of factors. Okay. I'm digging in that age range where you're still a bit athletic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, nah, okay. definitely not. Keep going. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, I was repeat. gonna say 35 to 40. Okay, yeah. Daniel. For some reason, I'm thinking that as well. Yeah, yeah. That, that was also mindful, man. I feel like you've hopefully got career in check by that mm. point. Most likely, starting to have kids, or if they might even be nearly teens. Because at that point, yeah, you're really doing the whole. <coughs> Like thing. life, you're doing life. life yeah, life. because yeah, for sure. not that like for obviously sure. you know like I'm saying obviously like. everything's very different for how other people move. Yeah. Um, but if you have if if these are your goals, yeah. this is the point in time where most of those have been actualized in terms of yeah career, mm. uh, relationship, family right, in terms yeah. of kids and physical element of things. And that like depends that on your well. goals as well. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, if people yeah. aren't if kids That's isn't part of the goals, then yeah. yeah. if if these are your goals, that is the period of time mm. for me personally at least. Yeah, that is where. Most of those things have it's been popping off. Mm. Okay. Now for a woman. Yeah. What do we think the, the, oh, the, the, the <laughs> prime years are? A woman, well, yeah, but what do you what facts do you include? include? Everything. Take everything like in The same kind of things that we would have just done <laughs> now for the guy. Well, like, what do you what would you step into for the for a woman? Mao, you've also got a yeah, woman. Yeah, start, Mao start. You guys start. I want to hear I want to hear Mao's Mao last. You start, then we let you know. I actually want to hear her last. I'm trying to think. Because I heard her her opinion is most important to me. For me, I think it's Shut up. From what I heard, I could be wrong. <laughs> I said from what I've heard. Nah, hey, you know what you want to save yourself? You're trying to like balance out what you said. Bro. You said, you said I mean, I said, someone possibly, told me. Someone mm-hmm. told me, possibly. hypothetically. So he's saying? 25. Okay. Damn. Yeah, okay. Ah. The friend didn't even give him a range. Legit. Nah, I <laughs> said you got 12 months. Bro, 12 and we got months. Leonardo DiCaprio in the house. I know. His is like 19 right. for the prime. He's a machine, okay, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, nah, I, he's I, actually a machine. Like, if we're talking about pro. <laughs> 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 that's mad. Massive. <laughs> no, wait, so 25? Hey, this is wait. funny. I want to hear you. Wait, wait, wait. I have a real time for the range. Yeah. Okay, 25 is good. 25 is good. Do your thing. Do your answer. That's my answer, man. Do your thing. What's your answer? All right, Jeremy, what's yours? Carlos is 25, yours is 25. I'm going to give a range. I'll say. Accounting for everything. What's everything? Like, so looking at sort of like work, 
uh, life balance as well, family stuff as well, all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking, and also women like develop earlier than men as well. <laughs> Yeah, mad I have to push up to <laughs> if, if you said that, that I'll change to 28 Just give us a Give us a Give us a About from about 27 To Yeah yeah so about 39 right. Okay yeah, That's the Really Yeah in that, in that age range mm-hmm. Yeah Aye. Because taking account The biomedical one, yeah. Okay Daniel Shout out to Biden. Yeah um, <coughs> Yeah biomedically Is what I would be Mainly looking at it as well But yeah. then that's Relationship the wise If these are If these are your goals Again um, mentally, I think typically women definitely mature. Early, mate, early just give us an age. Wait, wait, hold on, mate. <laughs> 2022, like, they're good. Wait, 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 I like the reason. I'm a podcaster. I mean, don't we, don't we get into that? Don't we get into that? Don't we get into that? We're making content. We're making content, bro. You know that is, bro? Hey, hey. Imagine you're sitting here. Crazy steak, crazy. Mama. Bro, let me finish the steak, bro. I'm going to get into that. Go, go, go. All right, so what's your age bracket? I've been doing this for four years, mate. Give us a reason. So, now I've lost my trip. Now, what were you saying? But yes. But like, like I said, women mm. tend to mature earlier than than um than, than us. So that 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 is taken into account. Yeah. So she's mature mentally. She has her relationship wise, if these are your goals as well. Children, career too, and healthy friendship circle, which takes women a lot longer to get to. <laughs> now, adding yeah, that as the prime cool. age. <clears throat> 14. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good. Did you get your but passport? Th- yeah, like what? Like from, from like 28 to like 35, bro. Yeah, okay. I might have to change. You guys had a family and all that stuff. Yeah. Why, what did bro, you think? What else would be be honest. This guy said that she can buy, I don't know, bags or something, bro. Like what else do you want to include in the rent? Family is a big five, factor, 28 bro. to 32. Okay. Marwa, Marwa. now I want to hear your Wait, opinion. what's yours first? To uh, oh, you got a reason behind it. I, I agree with Jeremy, what did you say? That was 27, You don't agree with Jeremy, mine is like... Tw- 28, 32 is perfect, bro. 24 to 39, I think. That's a 15. That's a 24 to 39. Yeah. Okay. But I can't. So what did okay, I say? Mar, I, I said 28 to 35. Um, yeah, like 26 to 35, there you go. Yeah, All right. All right, yeah, okay, yeah mine was first going to be 26 to 32. Yeah, man. But then... That's goodness. Man. 20, probably 25 to 35. I reckon. Okay, cool. That's the prime. All right. So what does... Uh, so the reason I'm asking this here... Mm. <coughs> oh. Don Lemon to miss Monday CNN show after sexist remark. All right, Don Lemon, if you guys don't know, he's a CNN anchor. Uh, he's mm. a 56-year-old gay black man, right? Mm. That's the only one who was drunk on the New Year's thing, yeah? Like I play. think he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's had many funny opinions over the years, but he's just an anchor. Sometimes I agree with him, sometimes I disagree mm. with him. But anyway, let me read this out to you guys. Don Lemon will be absent from Monday's episode of CNN this morning after making a sexist remark in reference to Nikki Haley. I don't know who that is. That's a Republican politician. There you go. Yeah. All right. Lemon yeah. had been <laughs> speaking with co-anchor <laughs> Poppy Harlow about Haley's candidacy for the 2024 election. And he said, a woman is considered to be in their prime in 20s, 30s, and maybe 40s. When Harlow asked Lemon to clarify what he meant, he replied, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s, and 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, bro. What a good response. <laughs> 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 Google. Lemon later apologized for the comment in a tweet posted Thursday night. He said, the reference I made to a woman's prime this morning was inartful and irrelevant, as colleagues and loved ones point it, po- have pointed out, and I regret it. A woman's age doesn't define her either personally or professionally. I have countless women in my life who prove that, that every day. All right. I have black friends. Basically said I have black <laughs> friends. Literally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is this was my my thing with the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> so that is weird. Wait, man really said I have women uh-huh. who have ages. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know a forty-three year old. Hey, I have a theory, yeah. I think men are the white men. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. men are white men for the racism gender thing. No, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. You get thing, yeah? The yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying, uh, I know women. I have mom yeah. and dad. Mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they say that. That's crazy. They say that. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, woo. Um, my thing is this, yeah. He's a 56-year-old man. Mm. Right. This is clearly how he feels. Exactly. Yeah. And thing is, I don't disagree with him. Mm. Right, like, I, w- I would happily say... Humans in general uh, have 20 to 40. That's their prime. their prime. But I think it's different. That's your prime in terms of productivity, in terms of how you look, oh. in terms of your mentality, and in, in, in that you can absorb new information mm. very well. 
right? And mm. like apply it to your life. Not just absorb mm. and accept, yep. Yep. absorb and apply. And you can actively apply. You can spark <coughs> most change in those yeah. age groups, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, every time I think about it, bro, the fact that MLK died at 34, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, something like that. Like that. Jesus, 33. Jesus, 33. Mm. Tupac was 25. Bro. Biggie was 25. Yeah. Like, Wild. that's why, I, like, I mean, <laughs> Betty White died in 99. Like, well, where was the impact? Between 20 and 50. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, facts. You know what I mean? Mm. <sighs> That's why I'm like, okay, this is a 56 year old man. This is how he feels. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Most people also probably feel this way. Why the heck are they apologizing for these things? I think mm. this mm. apologize, like forcing people to apologize when you know they do not mean the apology. Yeah. yeah it's a power trip. Like, like, like we know. But so, 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 like, because for me, mm. I don't, like, I, I don't watch CNN. Yeah. I don't watch any right. news, really. But, like, this is not going to affect whether I will tune in or not, right? <laughs> Even if I was tuning in. Yeah, you know what I mean? Funny. And for the average person, it's not affecting it. Yeah, either. but you know what it is? The average person doesn't it represent is. the people with, um, I guess, lobbying power, the people with, <coughs> the, especially monetary power and things like that, mm. because a lot of them probably hold... She didn't it's, by it's hard to actually read into, but you can't ignore what I'm trying to say. Okay, this, this, uh, this is where it might lead into the next thing, right? Because, I, I, yeah, I understand the lobbying power. That, like, I'm talking on an interpersonal level, yeah? Mm. You know, a lot of times the people that, that are That was probably offended, the longest pause yeah, on this podcast. because I want to <laughs> say it right. Mm. The people that are offended by certain things, like, when it's not actually... Like, when, when you universally can't say that's offensive... Mm. there's still people that are going to be offended, yeah? Like, certain mm. things, universally offensive. Like, if I just called someone, I don't know, like, a slur, <coughs> average person would be like, yeah, that's offensive, mm. right? But if I say a comment like this, yo, I think humans are at their prime at 35, yeah? That's not universally offensive, mm. right? Mm. But then, a lot the, of the, the problem is, like, when someone feels left out of what okay, you're saying. Okay, go. Mm. That's what I was, that's exactly what I was going to get at. Is it that the people that are offended 100%. realize... Yo, in those people, the years that most people think is prime, I'm out. I messed up, bro. No, but also I think yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't utilize my prime, <coughs> yeah. and now I can never be thirty to forty five again. But I think it's too mm. prime because in the in in the, in the thing they were talking about, it was like for a candidacy thing, yeah. In the prime, it doesn't really matter because all the presidents are older oh. than anyway. Older, yeah. Okay, I'm so I understand the context. But okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Let me let me run on that. Yeah. <laughs> has age not proven to not be the prime, bro? Look at Joe Biden. Can't string a yeah, freaking too. sentence together. <laughs> but, but I think if we, ta- <laughs> if we take outside of uh, Joe Biden and, uh, and uh, Mr. Oh, Trump, Obama was good. Mr. Trump, if you look at before, like all the ages of like Bush, uh, uh, Obese, all the man there, yeah? Like the age is like above like 50 in a in particular age and stuff. Yeah? So I understand that context. But generally speaking, yeah, I think there is that pattern of behavior, yeah? When like a lot of times <coughs> people will say something that is challenging to us, yeah. Mm. Instead of us reflecting on this particular thing, we all do this as people because change is hard, yeah. Instead of us reflecting that on as people and saying, "Oh, maybe I messed up with this particular thing," or "I have to change something," mm. yeah. we go, "No, no, no, let me push it on someone else." I think that no, that's where that comes from as like a society, as a culture. Yeah. He's like mm. taking s- saying like, "I did bad, I did something bad," yeah, yeah. Is, a, is a hard thing to accept sometimes. So I think sometimes it comes from that particular. That particular framework that you're saying, no, but yeah, I think it's, it's challenging. Yeah, Fair. I don't know. I think it's a tricky one. I, I think when mm. it comes to prime, everyone looks at it differently because mm. you could you could argue like to work up the corporate letter, like my prime is gonna be like fifty five. Mm. At the top top, yeah, yeah, to be like top top, like if you, you need relationships, you, you need, need time, relationships, all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. But there also people like need to drop off from that position yeah. for me to kind of work yeah. my way up there, right? Well, so yeah. you I know, know what I mean. Wondered. That corporate one is the tricky one that I. Because, like, <coughs> I think it's very different. It depends on people now, obviously. Because mm. when do you want to enjoy the things that the things you work for, um, can b- they can bring those things to you, right? That's a techie one. Let me ask that question a little bit better. Mm, like, you, wh- yeah, when do you want to enjoy the things? The fruits of your labor. Yeah, when you want to enjoy the fruits of your labor, right, ultimately, mm. right? Like, And for me, I would tend to, tend to think that, like, personally, I want to start enjoying them from, like, next year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This guy has <laughs> said that 18 times. <laughs> <laughs> the guy said, Dicks, I wouldn't. You wouldn't work with them for but this You know week. what I mean? Yeah. Like, when I think about people that are doing this whole 55 year thing, people that are working towards presidencies and like they're, they get it at 60 years old, 65, and now they have 10 years to enjoy that. In, within that, like. I don't think that's okay. enjoyable. Look, with the presidency thing, this is actually a good 
Yeah, this is a good thing. <laughs> age, age. <laughs> yeah, this good. is good thing. Yeah, this is good thing. <laughs> Very nice. Age is, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, age is not a disqualifier, right? Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. shouldn't be. Mm. Right. Uh, Unless but you can't remember stuff. No, no, no. But on the, on the over, over thing. Oh, yeah. yeah there, there's yeah, a yeah. point where, where I stopped driving. Mad, yeah. Mad, yeah. Stop <laughs> driving. <laughs> but, like, you got to think about it. Like, and I think this was the, the injustice almost of someone like Donald Trump becoming president when he did mm. is that for a lot of people, it's like, I'm a career politician. Yep. Mm. Right. So it's not, yo, I became a president at 80. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's, I worked my way. Yo, I've been part of this community. Yep. And then I became yeah. part of this town. Then I became part of the city. Then right. I became mayor of, of the state yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Then on and on and on and on. And so this is the culmination of all my years yes, of my yes, prime. Yeah, I was thinking right? that as exactly. I was saying. And now that, yeah. they're putting me as wise man, <coughs> right? Elder statesman, woman, mm. whatever it is, of right? This. Mm. Of this in this yeah. position, yeah. right? It actually it's it's almost like what's what's the word? Like it's um it's heartwarming in a Dignified. sense. Mm. When you yeah, like when you think someone really did their whole all right. Korea did all this almost like you know star soccer player blah 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 becomes manager of the club that he yeah, he was yeah. a star at you know what I mean it, it's beautiful mm. I, I think the that that goes in line with the in a way it kind of goes in line with like the corporate level so that's what I'm saying the ha- the mm. distinction with the corporate one though is that the journey right this is the corny part about it obviously like was it enjoyable along the whole that, process question, because you get yeah. to that point but. Mm. I think that's what, when I say I want to enjoy the fruits next year, doesn't mean that I'm saying that whatever I'm working towards, I've stopped oh, doing that. Quick, it's yeah. like, I want to, you, bro, what's the point of being a farmer if you reap your harvest after 60 years, bro? I'm mm. trying to reap my harvest yeah. every single year that but I, I put, that I sow. Every, every, every year needs year. to have a growth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, every year yeah. I need to be able to reap something. So it's like the career one, for the most part, I'll say most people are in corporates, right? They're not reaping the harvest. They're just existing until, until they can right. try to get Those to Those are the people that are really living like, I hate Mondays. That's what and I'm saying. And I can't mm. wait for Friday. Mm. And yeah, like, I, I agree. God forbid that in my life, bro. Because that's, that's that really there. exhausting. That's that's the ones that, yeah, yo, how many hours do I have? Yes, take this whole day right now. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. like no, no, no. I like my career enough to be like, yo, let's finish this project. I, yeah, I might stay here for another two yeah, weeks, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's very yeah. interesting. I <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> Because it goes to like the other people as well. I'll like, take unpaid. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're you could not hear people. Sorry, when I hear people come back and like, yo, I'm working two weeks for free, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like to because they did over. Yeah, they yeah. did overtime holiday. Overtime bro. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> That's, holiday. <laughs> That's mad. Nah, nah, yeah, for real. Overtime work. What are you gonna say though? I think it depends because like I know people as well, like just in my community of friends who have that mindset of like, of like they they're willing to like to to prolong something. For a long time, even part of like what I want to do is part of that. Of like, yeah, I get to. Bro, you've been on that is since he, high school. This guy's the one that's. Is like everything okay at home, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what this, what I mean? this is why it's childish at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, to be honest, it might be, it might be any distress, but I think like for coming from someone who has that particular mindset of like having wanting to achieve something over a particular long period of time because mm. of the length it just takes to get to this mm. particular place. Mm. Yeah, I think you have to enjoy the grind. Yeah, yeah. you actually yeah. have to enjoy it. like. I like let's say I'm doing something here. Yeah? I enjoy the challenge of like if I'm doing this particular thing here yeah, and, mm. uh, and it's hard. Yeah. I enjoy pause. I enjoy when it's like <laughs> hey, bo- hey, yo. I enjoy when it's like challenging mm. because that means it's like worth something as well. Mm. But then there's another conversation of like uh, no one cares. Yeah. Like the way you value something being like being worth more because it was challenging, yeah. yeah. Uh, no one cares, bro. If I get it easy, I get it easy. But like, no one cares. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But this happened at a dinner I was having with some of, some of the boys, yeah. And this dude was talking about like uh, how hard he had to work to get this particular place, get this particular this this, this, this thing, yeah. Mm. My other man who's like senior investment banker getting crazy Berlini, yeah. Looking like, hey, that's crazy, man. Here's five dollars, bro. No, you know what? It is? <laughs> you know, like, I, I'll, I'll pay for the meal, when bro. When I see <laughs> people flex. Cause this is like I respect hard work, mm. but when I see people flex, the lack of no, struggle, no bad, like output as hard work. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, give yeah. an example. Like, unhealthy, unhealthy. Right. You have yeah. mismanaged your time. Yeah, there's an easier way to do this. Yeah. Mm. I'm not impressed that it took you three months to do this when mm. it's like, no, if you didn't take steps, if you use Chat GPT, literally, <laughs> no, no, literally, yeah, I love like, it, bro. Like. <laughs> For me, I'm like, oh, you're an ineffective <coughs> worker. Mm. Like, ineffective worker. Okay, I made a thousand this way. You made a thousand that way. It took mm. you this long. Took you that long. This, yeah, this one I want to ask the flaw mm. from that, right? Uh, do we have a correct 
set up in this world that we actually have things that require that amount of time and investment in your life considering that the time we have here is very very yeah, limited i think we should yeah are uh, we doing this so wrong that people can literally spend half of that time here mm. working towards like of man, course there is. like just as an example are you saying like for example like paying off a mortgage for 30 years bro let's even chuck that in there but mm. that's not what i was talking yeah, about that one hurts stuff, like, that, when I think, every time i think about it, i'm like bro imagine like Genuinely paying off a debt for 30 years. Like, and I understand that's that it heavy, comes bro. from a place of like, <laughs> like, oh, some people have to uh, struggle. And it's like, that's acceptable. Mm. And like, yo, more power to you, right? But it's like, when I really think about it, I'm like, and then maybe this goes into other topics, but it's like, is it worth it? Like, constantly grinding forever and ever. And it's like, mm. I think it's hard to say that because yeah. there there is no actual blueprint 100%. on like how to do life or how to build a career uh, can we or say how that? to build a family. I don't think there is. Can you say that there's one way of I don't doing think there is something? A blueprint generally, bro. No, because everyone's circumstances it's and conditions are different. Are different. My Bible sure. never failed me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it depends I what you mean by blueprint. Unless from a Christian yeah. perspective, is different. But like, mm. no, but even a Christian perspective is like there's a blueprint on the morality yeah, and yeah. the yeah, behavior. Well, not the way behaviors. Yeah, but it's not like yo take a. Make sure you don't take a loan if it's seven percent interest. <laughs> <laughs> when the economy is seen yeah, a three yeah, percent yeah. downturn, yeah, maybe you should. I mean, yeah. like we're saying, Audible. you have two people doing the same job. It takes one person yeah. one week and the other person one month. Can you now go to that person who took a month and say, "Okay, I mean, you can say you didn't do it correctly because obviously you found a way that was quicker." Mm. But for them and the environment that they've grown up in and with their resources that they have, that's all that they could do. That's yeah. the time that's that a they big could factor, take yeah. to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so uh, it's yeah. like. N- there technically yeah. isn't a blueprint, really. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean? trying to be empathetic to that for sure, but mm. at the same time, like sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Like, mm. not everything is that deep as well. Mm. Like, <laughs> like all right, forget, forget earning money, yeah? Yeah. Saving sometimes. Like, and I understand, like, that's mass- honestly the easiest way to earn is to save is to earn, right? But it's like, let's say I'm trying to save a thousand, you're trying to save a thousand, mm. and it's like, it takes you three months because you can't stop having two coffees every day outside. That's different. You know what I mean? Mm. Then I'm like, okay, bro, I'm not impressed that you saved a thousand for this trip. Mm. When it's like, come on. You could have done more. $15 every day. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I guess that is where I'm like, there's a right and wrong mentality on that. Because I understand, you know, people are in different careers, people are in different situations. People Mm. are also like, you know, paying for things differently, all that kind of stuff. Like that, (laughs) yeah, I'm trying to be empathetic to that. But Mm. But I think to your question, I think some things have to be worth a long time otherwise you, otherwise you don't get otherwise you can't complete that role like holistically mm. like for example when, this when is what I, I, mean about like I think i want to take <coughs> it even further sorry to give you more context for the question yeah. why do we then require that amount of time in order to be able to holistically perform in those spaces but, I, but it's like get? Can, yeah, can yeah, you that's what you're saying because I'm, yeah. I'm like i need i, I need get what you're so saying like, okay, like, yeah, like okay. so yeah, yeah. no, let's, let's not do the president one because you can you almost really justify. Why? There's only yeah. one person getting that too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's a, exactly. That's a Give an example. So let's talk time. about someone who is a, for example, policymaker in um yeah. in government or something like that. Okay. Right. Member of Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not even member of Parliament. Just policymaker in terms of yeah. working for the department, oh, okay, of okay, health gotcha, department gotcha. of this. Right. <laughs> So you work within those spaces. Uh, this is a very real example. That's not all you I hate someone's career. In the is a real example. That's why I'm dying. <laughs> so a policymaker in a role, right? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, I'm asking a very stupid question, by the way, at the same ah, time. Hey. Why can that person only perform their role at the best of, like, th- they are so good at performing their role because they have put in 20 years of work in understanding the game of policy Da, 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 da. That's the thing, though. The yeah. experience. Uh, I'm yeah. saying, why, for one, does it take us that amount of time to even be able to Learn. get to be able to um, proper? Like, why? Why do we require that amount of time to be able to uh, offer so much value? You know what I mean? Like, obviously, uh, I, think, I, think th- I think that's just called learning. Yeah, so exactly. this is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm asking exactly. a dumb question yeah. in terms of the more you're learning, obviously, the more value you're worth. Oh. Yeah. But I'm saying, why? Yeah, it, why is there not a way to actually increase that? Like, why can that learning I think never there is. be fast track? Yeah, I think there's. Remember, I was telling you about like, uh, so I was at the um, at the department for a bit, doing some things there. So like, and the people that I met there, yeah, that were like really good, like people in that policy making space or idea space. Yeah, it was e- it was either the older people 
or the people who had been to like multiple, multiple, multiple countries. Yeah, like, yeah. like I'm thinking of, a, and I think yeah. what it is is you, you know, saying it's learning. Yeah, and learning experience. is through exper- experience. Yeah, come on, man. So this is a very that's a very core cool thing. What I'm saying now, that's what makes you learn. It is. Yeah, I've it takes yeah. time to have the experiences because how like learning works in the brain yeah, mm. is like you have an experience, mm. you have a reflection point, and then it you grows again. And then sometimes it takes multiple times for yeah. that to happen. Yeah. No yeah. lie, like yeah. the people that are the most interesting and most profound that I've met in my life are the ones with the most experiences. And honestly, yeah. like, that's where it's like, things like you were putting on that camp for the kids. Mm. Like that's that's an experience that you've added mm. to, yeah. to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's yeah. something else for them. Like, yo, I've been in this situation. That's something. Yeah. Like kids got to help out possibly. I don't know, whatever it was. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, please stop asking why I wasn't at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it not obvious? <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> just said, oh, the disruption. Oh, yeah. where's no? <laughs> so many people ask me, oh, why weren't you? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I was laughing. I was it's like, no, I have black right. friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not African. <laughs> nah, but I think, um, but even like generally speaking, like even in our friendship circle, that's why I value you guys is because, yeah, it's like, like remember I told you it's not, mm. I can't be friends with someone, yeah, if you have no different experiences, bro. <laughs> you're not, that is, mm. you're not like, you're not interesting to me. Like I don't value you. Wow. <laughs> so you're not, you're not interesting. <laughs> you're not on crib. Damn. No, no, oh, hey, crib. Said, hey, bro, stop swearing on crib, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that that one, we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blue <laughs> shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about this today. Side, man, side hey, topic. I don't hey, like when people hey. say brazy too much. Hey, brazy, that's, that's not really brazy. for us. That's Wake up, guys. Nice Why not? That's for the bloods. <laughs> <laughs> that's brazy. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Like, hey, we'll talk about Like, what a what are because I like to talk, yeah? Yeah. The Manizi say I drive conversations, yeah? <laughs> but I like to talk to people and like figure out about their life and if you know, whatever, yeah. Mm. If like, oh, you've had Jeremy this one. Jeremy kills me, bro. Everyone's like, listening to this he, episode bro. of 0.5 speed, bro. right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this guy is talking to the student for two minutes. So, why, why do you want to do this? T- tell me more about oh, it. Bro. bro, I'm there, I'm like, bro, you just you just got the kid's name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I can't lie, bro, on cap. Bro, this guy's going deep within bro, two minutes, bro. On bro. cap, I swear, I had crazy deep conversations with the kids. I said, hey, right, this is mad. Bro. How do we get here, bro? Like how do we get so deep? But like, pause. Oh, but like, I think <laughs> that's the that's oh. the that's the thing that like that like thing for me is like as a person, yeah, we value people having experiences generally. Like the people that yeah. we go to for advice, yeah, yeah, people with experiences. I think it's just some things in life, yeah. You either it's either through time, but, but time is because of experiences. It's not the time; <laughs> it's experience. Low key, like mm. yeah, yeah. I think we just that. we assume that. The but longer someone is, exactly. the more experiences, experiences they have. have. Cut, cut, cut that's time, honestly yeah. one of the most shocking things is when you meet old people that have, have no wisdom yeah, from experiences. Mm. Bro, yes, that, that might be the that might be the you missed out on your prime. No. <laughs> Those are the people that True, really they missed actually out could on their have. prime, bro. Mm. But but I think it depends on the position yeah, you're in. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like this guy's question, if you talk about policymaker, like you're telling me that you're gonna implement a policy that's gonna change the environment in which I live in. Let's believe you've got to be doing this for that's, X yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm also asking a X dumb question. Very but at the same well. time, I'm very no, yeah. Yes and no, because <coughs> back to the what we said at the start, like you take someone like MOK, you take someone like Malcolm, you take someone, um, I mean, even outside of those, like that realm of like social justice, right? Mm. There are people that are very young that spearheaded a lot, made genuine mm. change, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe there's something to like the lack of experience or age like ex- lack of experience through age that allows you to be naive enough to believe in yourself. That's very Possibly. important, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, the bit of who was talking about it? I don't know if it was on this board or somewhere else about the amount of delusion you have to have. Uh, I, I feel like it might Kruger be Kruger effect, uh, oh, Danny Kruger effect. Yeah. Was, no, someone was talking oh. about, about like there is a slight al- element of delusion to believe in yourself and to actually like you genuinely to make think it, about it, yeah? yeah. Like mm. imagine going, I'm going to change the world. Mm. You have to be yeah. like, bro, you're a lunatic. Yeah, you yeah. To you're actually a lunatic. Yeah. 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 You, you might be a right lunatic, though. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> but there's not you many of those lunatics it, yeah. at 65. Yeah, yeah. Because but, but life sometimes it takes pushes that out of you. Yeah. 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 Well, so you're trying to say the injustice thing is on the same level as what we're talking about? Oh, good point. What do you mean? Good point. Because what I'm thinking more of is like, we're depending on you to make a change. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then now on there, that. it's like, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't Somewhere, know what we're going to do, but let's do something yeah, yeah. bad. I, I think movements like, is different, though. I think because yeah. movements, if we took into account, it's not one particular yeah, yeah. person. It's a timing of things it, yeah. happening yeah. and multiple people. But I yeah. think in terms of like the policymaker thing, yeah. Or mm, other companies, or general, or just policymakers generally, are going to come for us now. Even yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. just generally speaking, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not time we're valuing, as Nori said, yeah. It's not time. We're valuing experience. Yeah. That's knowledge. the thing we're looking at and saying, like, but then. We should value your experiences, but because sometimes experiences allow you to see things that other people can't see. 
Like when I come, when I go to someone for advice, yeah, I need a Donny or Donette, yeah, who's, Donette. Been, th- who's been through a couple, a couple of my zines. So then I can say, oh, to be honest, like we're talking, when I, when I give people for advice, yeah, if you've never been through a, like a crazy, crazy, crazy thing, yeah, yeah, I'm not coming to you, bro. You don't understand, you don't understand particular things. <laughs> I need you to have like experienced the full capacity of life yeah. because it then opens your eyes to what life can be. Mm. Like one of the, like I remember I was talking to someone, yeah, and they were saying to me, oh, like the Christian person, yeah, they're saying, oh. Like, how can a, a particular Christian person have bad things going on in their life? I say, yeah, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think, like, a particular thing of understanding that, yeah. like, life doesn't happen A plus B plus C all the time. Yeah. Life can be a full sort of capacity, and that comes from experience sometimes. Yeah. And that's what we value it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, yeah. But I, I think, for me, one thing, like, I never want to get caught up in. Because I do, like, I, I, it's weird. Like, I agree with everything, but at the same time, like, I always want to hold the standpoint that like there's nobody on earth that i can't learn from you know what i mean like Mm. like i'm sure there's you know someone out there in freaking vietnam right yeah that like 14 in my mind has not experienced very much no maybe an old person right Mm -hmm. but they they know what it's like to go through multiple miscarriages Mm. that's an experience out god forbid but like you never know what life is exactly Mm. right they might be able to tell you something that you so, and but even if that's the only experience that they have, mm. but it's translatable. It's there's something, you know what yeah. I mean. I might be like, oh, you've never experienced this, you've never experienced that, you know. But mm. it's like this. I think in everyone there has to be something. Something. Even yeah. if they haven't experienced. Even if they haven't experienced. Well, something. I'm sure Yo. they can still share some, some kind of yeah. what was your wisdom question? or something. Uh, we kind of move far from it, but I was just gonna say, because you know how like for I mean in like if you're doing a med- like medical degree, nursing, all that type of stuff, right? They do situations, like stimulations to kind of oh, yeah. get you... Compassion. You're obviously, you're not in the field just yet, but it's like, okay, let's see what you'll do if this situation happens or right. if that situation happens, right? Because you were talking about why is it that we have to stick to something for so mm. long and be okay with the fact that, you know, we're in it for 10 years, 20 years before we, you know, are able to get to that point of like enjoyment or doing it properly or whatever, right? So I was just thinking, it was just wild no, thought, no, just side thought. Um... Would it? Would you guys like be okay with it now? If let's just say your boss or something, they've never experienced, you know, um, like a breakdown in business, or they've never experienced all that type of stuff, but they went through like some kind of what would you call it? Uh, a VR situation where it's like they are going through the situations, but you're not physically actually in it. It's just like a VR type of thing. Oh, so it's like you're asking. experiencing okay. things visually, but you're not actually, because then that could actually progress mm. things further. Where it's like you're gaining knowledge through that, you're gaining wisdom through that, but mm. it's within three hours. Wait, you know, so you're, you're sitting saying, sh- mm. like, like, I'm just trying to give it. I, I can say this. Let's say you're a nursing mm. student. And you're put through a simulation where a woman's like bleeding out. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to try to. I, okay, and and so. So you're she's saying okay. now. Now you're almost now challenging. She's experience. challenging what I'm saying mm. with a very nice situation that is of a like very smart way. how. Yeah, would we be comfortable yeah. with having people make the big calls when they haven't personally experienced it? They've but been they have great for it. been trained yep, for it yep, yep. instead, yeah, right? But exactly. I think I don't know, man. So because they keep it, even they go through the training, <laughs> right? Like your heart is not pounding because you know <laughs> your heart is not pounding. <laughs> yeah. okay, like, it can be set up for that. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I get it, but but like the it back can of be your set mind up for it to that's you the know have that, that effect yeah. is through the virtual reality training. Yeah, are they getting the same stimulus as they would get in a real life situation? Oh, because like, I was going to say physiological re- physiological remember, response the same. Mm. I mean, you know, even during lockdowns, we we're talking about this. So I was like, our brains, like the connections that we make. As we're thinking about something sometimes, uh, obviously our bodies hold memories, mm. but even as we're ex- thinking about something sometimes and as we're experiencing them, our brains don't necessarily, like the same areas typically are getting stimulated, stimulated. right? Mm. In terms of how we're thinking about a certain mm. situation, just like a dream and how yeah. our body has physiological, um, what do you call it? Yes. Responses yeah. to these yeah. type of things or actually going through them sometimes as well. Mm. Not going to exactly put them exactly the same because you're, what, Obviously, if you're like going through something very traumatic physically, and your body's also now feeling it, your mm. brain is a different mm. area is yeah, also yeah, being yeah. activated yeah. at the same time, right? Yeah. But yeah, being the emotional aspect of things, your man said, is your heart pounding though? Like, if your mind is being able to be trained and making connections in terms of how to deal with a certain thing solely from a training perspective. I do believe you'll be able to act that out. You'll be better for sure. Better, but, yeah, you'll be better. Better. but the reason why I say that, yeah. it's, 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 it's reco- yeah, it's really important. The reason why I say that is like you're <laughs> so dealing with it in a logical point of view because 
Yeah, you know what I mean. You need the stress. Stress. Because stress. 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 You guys are saying we have to grind, bro. Right. 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 We have to grind you a lot. To it for but, 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 but ultimately, <laughs> anything can help. I'm sick of like, grinding. Like, 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 to be honest, if you do the trading or whatever it is, like anything can help in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't care. Like yeah, you yeah. did that for three hours. Like use it. Nah, it's fun. Yeah. For me, like it's fun. Yeah, it's as long it's as. It's fun to grind. Then I mean, like in terms of like the virtual reality situation, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Hey yo, it's fine. Yeah. As long as, <laughs> as long as, yeah, mm. the physiological response is the same because yep, yep. the connection that, I, that I'm carrying in your brain, mm. I'm carrying in that particular environment. That happens? Hey, guys, do, do your thing. Hey, my heart padding over. Nah, hey, bro, it's mad. Pay, pay minute? <laughs> yes. no. I don't want a surgeon. Let's say I'm bleeding out, yeah? I don't want a surgeon who's experienced the first time a bleed out on a virtual reality. Now I'm a ting, my heart dying, everybody panicking, man's going, yeah. Nah, but uh, see, this on, a, on, a, on a goggles. goggles. In the medical field, that that's that's completely yeah. different. Yeah. That one I have to X that one out because yeah, yeah cuz mm. this. I need you. I need you to I just say, reality is not gonna help you yeah, out. Man. I want to ask Noor, do you still want to take the easy route in life? Okay, this is another topic. Um, sometimes I think about it, right, and I'm like, life what is. is the, also, this is probably the smartest what episode is? we've had in a long time. <laughs> 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 probably one of the smartest. Shout out to Jeremy. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, yeah, it's it's Jeremy being on here. Dumb, bro. <laughs> um, sometimes I like, I think about life. Man, them said physiological for the first time <laughs> on this podcast. And then they, they said this is mental fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> it started with flabbergasted. Yeah. Uh, magic, magic, magic. Oh. Bro, I should have known it was that time. Yeah. 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 Stop butting up, bro. You said you look flabbergasted. I was like, yeah, nah, we're for a ride, nah, bro. Nah, um, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, life would be so easy if I just chose to do things the easy route. What is mm. it? Like, what is that? Is it real? Like, I'll, I'll explain. Like, especially me. Like, I was even talking about this to one of my coworkers today. It's like, I've always had this mentality where it's like, I think long term. Like, mm. so none of my decisions, honestly, very few decisions in my life have been like just for in the moment. Mm. Right? Okay. Um, It's always, yo, like, how would this affect me in five years? How would this affect me in this, in that? Like, ev almost everything that I decide is like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, cool and people always go like oh that's great it's great but like it does have a burdensome element because it's like you know one day mm. it's like <laughs> you're gonna end up being stuck like yo okay now i need it yeah i'm locked into this contract to pay this mortgage mm. right it was, i'm locked into this i'm locked into that even then it comes on the interpersonal stuff right like um like the type of relationship yeah you your relationships you have like, i'm not i'm not dating everyone just yeah. I'm like, I'm not allowing myself to just have a fun time in this period of life. You know what I mean? Just for the heck of it. Because it's like, no, I'm thinking, what about my future partner that I eventually want to lock down with? What about mm. when I'm a father? What about, What's the effect you know what I mean? Like all this kind of stuff, right? And it's what, like what, 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 what? constantly thinking long term. But then sometimes I'm like, bro, the, the, time pe get it. the people that just go, I'm not having a house, bro. If I have it, I have it, right? <laughs> but if I'm sleeping around house. 15 people this month, I sleep around 15 people this mm. month. They all seem okay as well. <laughs> that's the thing, bro. That's the, that's the part that's starting yeah, to piss me off. You're making it out. 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 Why do I see the evil people prospering? <laughs> <laughs> it's Psalm 73. I know this one. It says, why are the ones that are evil prospering? Hey, Loki, me and Daniel always have these conversations, yeah? Is regarding even with Carlos, is like, the things we're doing here, like we're, we're going, oh, <laughs> let, me, let me do this for this for this. In ten years, it's gonna pay off. Let me do the pay off, and then you and then you say, uh, look outside. It was ah, Bro. and, like, and the, you know the, what? It's like sponsor me with, with, with like what's the man's name? The guy on the window. What's his name? On the sponsor episode when we were having fun uh, outside. Squidward. Uh, Squidward. That's how I feel, bro. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we are like, Squidward, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, bro. The, the thing is, yeah, you're like you're doing all this and you're thinking uh, whatever and all this and like Daniel and I were talking about this lightly on um Saturday, but it's like I think for us it honestly comes from a place of like we have whatever reason we've been instilled this mentality of long term. Mm. Like I won't know my great grandchildren, but they're gonna know me. You know that kind mm. of yeah. thing. Yeah. But it's like. <laughs> I, I could just not. But I feel you, bro. <laughs> I, I could, could just, just not. not. <laughs> wow. Like, I could just it's not. simple as that. Is nah, there a clear distance, um, distance, difference that you can point out between the people that do and the people okay. that don't? This is, this at is the all. thing. Like, I've never seen the mentality of, yo, let's keep a long term fail yeah. in the long run. Yeah. I've never seen it fail. That's I have seen, let me think about term. right now, fail because yeah. I, I see people and I know people. 
that like don't have an idea of what they want to do. They don't have an idea of what kind of relationships they actually want to foster anymore. And that's yeah. how they end up in situations. Because now they have yeah. trust issues. Now they have yeah. that all this kind of stuff. Like, yeah, and they end up in crazy situations as well. Which mm. like, okay, now it's mm, some things you can't back out from. Mm. That's the problem, I mean? bro. Because mm. we, you see it as like from conversation and stuff. Yeah. yeah, you see like what the effect is on particular people. Like, like I used to do this um this homeless thing here for La Salle and this thing here, and like having conversations with people. Yeah, and people have made particular decisions. Yeah. Then you're like, oh, these people are having fun, yeah. But this decision, yeah, it can it can go mad. Yeah. Mm. And then once it goes mad, it might not. I can never yeah, never come back from this. Come back yeah. From yeah. It, yeah. But then there's no one saying yeah. But I've never seen a person yeah. generally who's made the long term thing and, and it's gone mad. It's yeah. been yeah. difficult they, for them. They may have been disappointed, disappointed but never but gone mad. Not devastated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying exactly yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah, I've yeah. never yeah. seen them as this. Preach, preach, preach. Can't wait. <laughs> I have my respect for those people. There's a revolution in that, yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I yeah. know these two couples, who's? like, mm. that kind of lifestyle. I know these two couples, all they do is work, and then they go on holiday. Mm. Travel the world. They come yeah. back, work, yeah. go on holiday. Like, they, and they're renting. They don't... Didn't buy a house. It's yeah. becoming common, bro. How yeah. happy do they look? Oh, bro. Amazingly happy. Oh, right? boy. I mean, you're traveling this the world. The part, when when I ask him all these questions, it <sighs> would, 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 no, 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 what? Bro, <laughs> bro we love all the investments bro, anyway, bro. bro the guy said, I'm crashed, man. We're PG. I went yeah. here. And then, even when they're talking about it, they look at each other. Like, Remember that time? Bro, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro nah. they've never had the stress no. of ah, bro. crypto crash. Bro. <laughs> ah, crypto crash. Wait, where's Doge, Dogecoin? Where's bro, it going? Bro, <laughs> honestly, they worked for like eight months, travel for like two months. Bro. Yeah. Come yeah. back, and I was like, and they've been doing it for like five years. Bro, I know people, yeah. One of them that I used to play soccer with, yeah. Now he just travels around with his girlfriend, yeah. In like a caravan this thing, yeah. I saw him one time in FG with his oh, girlfriend, yeah. Too, Bam, yeah, yeah. This crazy. <laughs> the, the, the fit, the, the fit is, but the fit is crazy. The fit, uh, fit out, everything. Yeah. <laughs> he, he goes, that I no, He goes, you're Jeremy. <laughs> right. He gave me the warmest hug I've had in a long time, bro. I said, <laughs> <laughs> right. This guy was so happy, everything. Jeremy turned into that, six year old. <laughs> <laughs> <Hungry. laughs> <Bro. laughs> Mummy, that's it. Yeah, I was like, I was like, bro. I said, what are you up to? He's like, I tell you everything, bro. Him and, his, him and his girl and their dog, they look so happy. The dog, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is this what I think it is? Bro, they look, bro. They look, <laughs> bro, they look, bro, they look so happy, yeah? He's like, oh, what are you doing? I said, like, oh, no, nah, you know. <laughs> grinding. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? One plus one, two. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Grinding. Yeah. Oh grinding. He's like, oh, yeah, bro, I'll catch you. Yeah, I'll live long. Bro, yeah. live long. <laughs> I live long. I live long. Bro, and I said, bro, I, I think I, I think I caught you there. I said, brother, like, what are you doing? Yeah, you did actually. I said, yeah. bro, like, Hey, everyone's having fun, bro. Like, my, my man's oh, having fun. Bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, he had like, like you know when you look at someone's eyes and it's genuine joy. Yeah, I said, big man. Wow. What am I even doing? Nah, my life, bro. Dude I had mean, to go into his car. After, sorry, go nah, into his car, look in the mirror, and just I say, said, bro, bro, what am I? Bro, like they're that. actually genuinely <laughs> happy. That's the thing. Yeah, bro. yeah. They're actually so happy. Like, I'm just like, wow. Because you what? can't live a happy life like that. That's yeah. what you I mean. You know, mean, having yeah. investment, crypto, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a happy life. Like, literally, someone who doesn't have a home or, like, sorry, a mortgage, you know, to their name, but they're 35 with. You know, they've been to okay. fourteen countries. They've been to fourteen they've countries. They have a thousand dollars, which is let's just say safe every city. amount in their savings. Oh. Yeah, they've travelled. They've met, you know, all of these crazy people around the world. They've eaten crazy sick. food. They're genuinely happy. <laughs> like if, if it, I yeah. look at them and I look at someone who's like in distress and they've got a mortgage, they've got crypto, which is crashing every other week. I'm gonna be like, I don't want to be like you. <laughs> no, like no, I yeah. genuinely so don't want to be like you. Brother in law messages me today. He's like, yo, so I realized there was no ads for crypto during the Super Bowl. Which oh. is crazy because you remember they were yeah. running into ads yeah. or a couple more. He's like, it'll make a turn, but probably around 2027. <laughs> 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 the guy said, hold on, keep it holding. Keep holding, keep holding. That Dogecoin, yeah. Hold That's on. what I'm saying. <laughs> we're not discrediting either any of these or yeah, are we uplifting not. either. There's either. no blueprint to this. Bro. My yeah. one question that comes out from this Where is, do I balance this? Exactly, uh, right? Mm. And it's like, why? Yeah, like. What, yeah, why is this there no merge of these yeah. two things? Yes. There obviously is which most likely. Right? I think is the lane which I'm trying to move into now. But what does it like, look like? Yo. Bro? Like even even yesterday I, I was like, I have a new goal for myself. I'm gonna set aside fifteen hundred dollars over the next like two months. Mm. And then in two months I'm just gonna like shopping spree. Mm. I don't mm. do that. I don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, ever, yeah. Right? Spoil yourself um, a little. Trying to be like Carl's. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, it's either. different now. So it's like, like yeah. that kind of thing. Or even like, I'm, I'm serious about, yo, I oh, want man, to travel. Me. Travel, so yeah. yeah. There's a certain amount that's going to get set aside. But I can't necessarily be one of those people that's just like, right yeah, now. all I have is travel. Yeah. Not even right now, it can happen. But it's like, him. all I have oh, is him. travel. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. I think people, are, people who have seen that, yeah, 
uh, shout out to my boy Ben, yeah, is like people who have a level of financial security because they can mm. do the serious mm. this thing and they can <coughs> manage their life a particular way. Like my like yeah. my boy, the way he, the way he lives his life, yeah, literally does whatever he wants, bro. He tells him like in a particular period of his life when he wants to be super into the into this in, in, uh, into like the company that he that he has, yeah. he goes hard. But he wants to dip out for four or five months. Don? He dips yeah. out. Is this yeah, Don? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Is this Don? It's Ben. Oh, okay. You said Ben. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so <he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah? And he lives a life that he wants to live, yeah? Mm. And But that yeah. came from a period yeah. again mm. of like intense sacrifice. Because yeah. it doesn't come from money. That's, yeah. 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 Because, yeah. okay, nothing yeah. gives me, more, like, I don't get anxiety, yeah, for the most part. But when I hear those people that say, I have nothing in my bank account, or like, I have $14, yeah. right, at this age, yeah? yeah? Like, I have $14. Oh, that's scary. Bro. And I was like, oh, you mean, like, in your spending? spending and they're like, again. no, in my bank account. Yeah, my period. <laughs> Piss off. Like, you're actually not serious about life. Wow, $14. You're actually not serious about life. <laughs> 1482, actually. Put some respect And it's not, it's, it's also just because of this living in the moment lifestyle. It's not because of, mm, like, mm. life is tough or anything. Times are tough, though. No, 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 no. Nah, not that tough. Nah, 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 nah. Their head, head is tough. Our hard head makes a soft ass. No, no, no. I think it depends, bro. If it's because of decisions, yeah, Big what are you doing? It's because of, like, oh, I can't say no to brunch. That's what I'm saying. Even if it's because of if it's because of behaviors and stuff, yeah, that's mad. Even because of situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm helping my mom out. I'm helping my cousin out. That's a good way to put it. But if it's because you love a bit of a... You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's mad. This is what I'm saying, yeah. I know there's you talk about like there's wisdom in watching the ants because they always stock up, they they save up. But I'm saying, have we done life wrong that we have to have financial security, bro? I don't need man. You know what I'm saying? Financial like, security. Have we messed up this whole life thing? The fact that we have to have financial in security. In today's world, you, like, yeah, yeah. In today's world, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe so that's what I'm saying. Have so we messed we up today's world? Well? But like, what was the <laughs> what was the opposite? Like, because it, uh, it, financial insecurity. It's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fun. Thirteen. That's the that's that's the bro. Yeah. But yeah. 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 would it have to get expensive? Then yeah. But but again. To a point where life becomes good, it's, maybe it's not so much of, for me, it's not so much of money. I think I was telling this guy, uh, I think we were driving or something like that. And I was like, man, do you know how I know life is good, bro? <laughs> when I can have a brunch on a Tuesday, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, That's your thing. Brunch that's on a Tuesday, bro. Like you know, yeah, that's the same like, reason why I realized I was very unhappy in life <laughs> when I was seeing my friends have, bro, have breakfast <laughs> at 11 a.m. And I'm at home. Indoors, like we're from home, the greatest thing that's been created, yeah. but that was killing me. <laughs> I'm like, dog, I could, especially because I was in a consulting kind of thing, everything was time based. I'm like, bro, you telling me if I want to have breakfast outside, I can't do it right now? You can't. Like, I can't do it for five days out of this beautiful God given week. I could not leave you my house. And I, I said, What's bro, the thing for I you? Said, guys? I'm doing life wrong. Mm. Yeah. I said, I no, obviously, because then again, that is a very, actually, very um, dangerous thing to say and quite. Incentive because some people it's like yeah they can't they, no, I, I got they breaks. can't but it's like maybe that is actually life right for them but for me I was like yeah. yo this is for crippling you, not right. yeah. this was mm. crippling bro yeah because yeah, my you know sister what I'm was saying? Like, I, I get that because my sister's like yo let's go out so he can call that crippling and I can call left hand just oh. a disability <laughs> <laughs> so my sister hit me I was like yo let's do brunch I said yeah tomorrow oh uh, to Tuesday yeah it works with me yeah. you, know, you know what I mean like what's the thing for you guys yeah like how do you know when your life like you're doing life. Not in like long term, but like right now. Right yeah. now, yeah. What's the thing that you guys do when you know, like my life is going, uh huh. Mm. And then what do you guys do when your life's going, uh uh? What do you guys think, bro? Wow, that's a good question. Bro. When life is good and how do you know it's popping? Like how do we know? Like for me, like I just yeah, I already gave my example. When I know I can have, you know, <laughs> on, on Tuesday, like I already know, like I like, pattern things yeah. in order for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah. that is not detrimental. To, yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's, it's the, not, the grind is still grinding. The grind is still grinding. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's this teeth for this breakfast right but now. For me, it's not so much of like the mom, money mom, mom, and mom. all that kind of stuff or the investments. Yeah, yeah all that yeah. Okay. stuff. Interesting one. If I have it's, a, it's yeah. tricky, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of one that's not money related. Yeah, as such, but it's the first one that does come like mind emotionally. Is yeah, but like the first one that comes to mind is money related. It's like if I can add a drink to my meal. Right. <laughs> 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 that, that, like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, nah, <laughs> hey, that's respect to the year, bro. Can, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, especially because I don't know why I was raised like we never get drinks with our meals. Like yeah. I think mm. it's because my parents don't want to pay yeah, for drinks. Yeah, <laughs> Loki. Um, just, just gonna jog, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like when you're like, you know, I will take the mango passion fruit. Like that's nice. I agree, bro. Like, like, I went to dinner last night and then um. I got, I got a large drink, bro. I never get a drink. Bro. <laughs> I got a large lemon lime, bro. 
I'm a changed man. <laughs> you know, you're doing good, yeah? yeah. He's still burping off it. <laughs> <laughs> no, body's never experienced yeah, this yeah. before. Right? What is this, man? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting question, man. Like, yeah, what? how do I know when life is good? I think um, for me, it's tricky because I feel like I've, I always say this, but I don't think I have stopped since, since starting uni, right? Mm. Like I feel like things have constantly been moving, but I've learned like that for me it feels like existing, right? Mm. So I can't even say that when I get rest that I feel like oh yeah I agree with that. You know what I mean? Make me feel rest good. doesn't necessarily. I remember I said it. I was talking to someone as well. Mm. And I said it to you that the day I actually had a day of doing nothing, I lost my mind. Mm. It was the longest day ever. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely the long, and I was actually getting pissed off. Bro. <laughs> I was like, where will this day yeah. end, bro? Because yeah. I, I, I fully consciously said, let me plan nothing yeah. at all for this day. I'd already edited podcast clips or something yeah. like that. Anything, any, even the, the most minimal things that I could try to force was done. And I lost my mind that day. <laughs> right, he did everything. He said, mm, 11.30. <laughs> Yo, I'm <laughs> 32. For real. <laughs> what do people do? <laughs> so like, for me, yeah, rest, being, having the ability to rest doesn't, isn't even, um, I guess, the, the, the one I feel like I've, I've made it. But I think when... Corny, corny, like this is a very corny answer, but I think when I can see the things that I'm doing paying off, paying off yes. in terms of like, um, okay, community aspect of things, yeah. like someone comes and says, I like, yo, I've been able to change my life off, the, off of this. You guys have pointed me in this yes. direction. This is something I'm gonna remember forever. Yeah. Podcast, yo, that thing is getting me. Someone telling us that our podcast is getting them through year 12. Yeah, yeah. That was, you know what I'm saying? Like, to you, man. things like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know whatever else man is doing. That, yeah, that, but those are things that, that for me, fulfilling. that feeds back into, damn, I just sprayed. <laughs> yeah, that's no, calm, but, that's calm. but for me, that feeds yeah, back into like, this like, is, po- I guess, positive positive um, affirmation or reinforcement yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. of these things. To keep going. To keep yeah. going, ultimately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. It's very as, a, as opposed to anything that I can put my finger on in terms of I can do this now kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. I've always been the type, especially thankfully for the way I've been raised, like holidays, we've been doing that. Mm-hmm. So now it's just a part of normal lifestyle. Like if, if I know I'm doing like life is peak when I can't go on holiday now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I know something's going wrong. Well. <laughs> if, if, if I can't even man, fact man, I have to say no to a holiday, bro. <laughs> bro? Did they do that? It's, 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 check on me. <laughs> what happened? Check on what, what me, happened? bro. Check on me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, not bad. You didn't answer Antimo, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, no. I thought you were going to go. Um, oh, For me, it's a little different because I'm not, like, too tapped into the, like, community stuff and all the extracurricular. Say people, bro. No, I do love people. All the extracurricular activities and stuff. Um, I can genuinely say, like, right now, I think life is going good. I love it. Um, that's good. I mean, for me, like people might know might not know but like you know i did start a business and for me like just seeing it the fact that i'm not okay maybe it's just i'm lazy or something (laughs) but i'm not too motivated to like um you know expand or 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 anything like that just yet obviously i will obviously i will but for me i'm like okay that means i'm at a place where i'm comfortable where it's like everything is good i'm not stressed about anything and so i guess like in this season of my life, I'm kind of like, okay, that's how I can um, kind of factor that. Okay, everything's kind of going good. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I'm not stressing about anything. I have the time to see friends. I have the time to help family, to, you know, catch up. If there is extra things I need to do, I can do it right now. Um, and all of that. In terms of when things are going bad, I actually don't know. Would you? Would you know when things are going bad for me? Do I stress? All the time. (laughs) 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 I was going to say something that just clicked from what you said. Mm -hmm. When I know it's looking good is when I have capacity for other people. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Yeah, yeah, That's that's when I know that I've had an aspect of things when I actually have a a, capacity for other people. I see that. So when I'm talking about that that affirmation thing, I think that is bottom line really the core. When it's like if someone actually says, yo, um, like time, because, yo, I, I hate phone calls, but when I have the time for it, I'm down. You know you're good. Yeah. My legs are, yeah. my legs and the feet up, everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to have the time for it. I love the phone calls, bro. Yeah. But when I'm doing stuff on you the go, yeah. the phone calls the worst thing in, in the life. How many times have I I've seen you everyone's here's phone call? Calls on hold. <laughs> or, just, yeah. On this on this part right now, I mean obviously I can't just like pick up a call on the phone, But I'm looking at number, bro. I looked at the call go through, bro. Like <laughs> three times. While doing something, I calls the worst thing. Mm. But yeah, like life is good when there's capacity. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What about yourself? I think for me, it depends. I think it depends on like multiple things, like from a mental aspect, yeah. When I'm like working on something, yeah, and I'm in like that, do you know, like that zone when you are like cooking, when like the the the, the, 
What's it called? There's a particular zone. What is it called? Flow. When yeah, I'm in flow, flow state. When yeah, I'm in flow state, yeah, flow, yeah. Like, like when I'm working on a particular like 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 policy project, I'm working on like, on like a biomedical project, yeah. And like I've like everything is coming together, and I'm in like I can go for like four hours, and I and like I'm in like this perfect peace. Mm. Or like when I'm doing the community stuff, yeah, and I feel like this peace of God over my life, mm. yeah. Mm. Then I know like I'm supposed to be where I am, wood, wood, and wood, like wood, wood, wood. this particular thing. And then also like when I'm running, like when I'm like. Mm. Back when I'm fully fit, nice. now when I'm fully fit, like really like doing like heavy kegs a week here, yeah. and like I'm out somewhere near like around near the farms and that yeah, mm. and I'm looking at the animals here. Yeah. No, but this is <laughs> this is beautiful. This right? is good living. Yeah. Like, oh, mate, this is this is this is good. That's living, when you mate. think, why don't I do this often? And then yeah. it's like it's like how do I and like I can't find a thing mm. that combines all those feelings. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying so like I get like a life is good in different particular yep, yep. contexts, but those existing concurrently. Yeah, but like, yep. ooh, if I have a week, bro. Where I run, <laughs> see the animals. Yeah, I'm cooking the policy by medical team. Uh, I'm, I'm cooking the, the, the policy by medical and team. Uh, and, you and you have that stick on the side. And I, and I have the, the, the big tomahawk medium in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. With the barbecue. No, 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 no. I haven't seen you have a steak in time, yeah, so yeah. it's everything all right, bro. Just, what, what I've been no, no, seeing no, is because I don't do have Instagram, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, but, but hey, I've Mango got I've been crazy steaks, bro. If I have a steak, Nori. And the run and the ball is a distance. <laughs> life is and good. the kids. Yeah, life's a rump life is good. Life is good. <laughs> life is good. Yeah, that's nice. Yes. Hey, man. That's that's lost. Lost. I, I, hey. I think they need a wake up call. Yeah, man. no, but Wake first, we actually boards. never ended up recapping all of our weeks. Yeah, I was, I was oh, guessing yes, there's yeah, one, yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, um, one more. Before yeah. we jump into that, when you're talking about the runs and the animals and that, I was standing in the water with Sigali. Yeah, shout out to him yeah. for a good hour. I reckon two hours, I reckon. And the water was just constantly going in and out. Yeah. That's beautiful. But fam? Why do you face like that? Bro, <laughs> bro because I'm trying Listen, to oh bring God. words to what yeah. happens to you in that kind of a moment, like fam. Th- the nature thing. There's something about nature. It's mad. Like, I think nature adds a, a big element. Like, even if you... Because I'm not one of those people that's obsessed with nature. I, like, I've, I, I can be fascinated by, yeah. like, yo, these mountains or this, whatever. But, mm. like, something about being around it genuinely just makes things feel yeah. a bit nicer. Yeah. Yeah. The convo, yeah. You're dumb, yeah? It's dumb, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, I realize... F, marry, kill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think about like, body count, bro? Yeah. <laughs> does, does body count matter? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Dumbest conversation though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know it was a madness, man. It was a madness, but yeah, yeah. I heard that convo cap and I got up. Huh? Uh, I heard that convo cap and I got up. Bro, I was sitting down eating, yeah. Oh, you and, and about stuff? <laughs> I said, all right, man. It's this and me. I'm ahead <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm ahead <laughs> out. <laughs> the kids have a lot to learn, a lot of experiences <laughs> with their eyes to get to the <laughs> to the to the serious else, ones. Man. But um, yeah, yeah, there was more that um actually <laughs> happened throughout yeah, the week. So obviously bro. Saturday, um, great experience. Yeah, man. shout there's out to. There's uh, more further content that yeah. should be created from that. Literally, yeah, which we know. Shout out to Ivy. She's been um, she's had a exhibition at Wyndham. Art gallery. Still open now. Still open till the 18th of March. Um, basically around friendship, platonic friendship. Um, and she, as part of it, she threw together a panel. Uh, Daniel and myself were lucky enough to be part of it. And it was, man, it was just really nice. Shout out to Bella, Chase, Lydia, uh, Lydia hosted it. Ivy. Um, and obviously Ivy was involved in the panel as well. And it was just real nice talking about friendship. Like, a good amount of people came out for it too. Like, yeah, it was different. It was a very different kind of conversation because I think a lot of time we end up talking about romantic relationships, yeah. but this is cool. I was talking, yeah, someone I was talking to today, um, or like friendships. So you can talk about, like, I'll list off a couple of things. You can talk about food, sleep, friendships, all these type of different types of things because these are you common know, human experiences. Yeah. yeah, no matter who, like someone has some kind of a relationship and experience with, these with those things. Food mm-hmm. could be, I have a lot of it, I have none of it. I have a bad, healthy habits. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, I have bad habits, healthy habits. Yeah. Sleep. A lot of it, you know what I mean? Like everyone has some kind of a comment. Like we know what these things are. Yeah. Mm. Romantic relationships, not everyone has experienced that, everyone, right? Or yeah. desires to. Or, or even desires to, for sure. So like the fact that we never realized how universal friendship is, everyone has some kind of a relationship with that that conversation, mm. right? That, yeah, I don't know, man. I even found myself coming to conclusions that I hadn't even realized that I was at, yeah. but whilst having the conversation yeah. about the thing. Yeah. Or even yeah. realizing just how much I valued my friendship. Yeah, like, man. Like I've always known, like, I really do have love for the people around me that I keep close, but it's just like, <laughs> yeah, I guess like even to another level, you're kind of just like, yo, like this actually adds so much value to mm. my life. Like my life is better because of them, but it's also, it's like, it just, like not in a morbid way, but it's just like, it's not worth living without the community. Without you know what I mean? Like, I can't leave him, bro. 
<laughs> no, it's Take stuck. Take it home, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. Mm. Nah, it was... It was what did you guys talk about if, if you had the money? Well, what did I you... I would mind. What did you... What did you, <laughs> <laughs> you said I would mind or what? Yeah, yeah. We mind. What, what would you... From someone who saw us having the conversation, because I... Obviously, as we're talking, we're constantly having to think, but you got to yeah. just absorb. Mm. So what, what was that like? Um, I thought it was a very well-structured panel, Um, you know, First, a shout out to Lydia. I think she really did well in terms of just tying everything together, really allowing the conversations to flow. Um, but yeah, um, I think the selection of people was actually really good because you guys had different experiences. Like you had Chase, who had a complete different experiences to you guys. And then you had Bella, who was very young. So she, you know, was able to bring like a young perspective to it as well. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately you guys did very like well. I think sometimes when you sit and hear topics like that being spoken, you know, you're talking about like food and, um, you know, things that we all like do and use like day to day. It's like you sometimes hear it and you're like, whoa, you know, like I didn't know this was a thing or I didn't know um, this was so significant. Like friendship, it's not, some people don't see it as such a significant thing, right? But when you guys were speaking about it, I'm like, whoa, there's actually so many layers to it. And there's such an importance, like you said, like friendship actually brings value. But yeah, ultimately it was actually a great event. Um, I think we need more of that. We definitely yeah. need more of that type of stuff. So shout out to Ivy. Yeah, we've got some nice stuff. Putting yeah, it together. To definitely yeah. do yeah. something yeah. further from mm. that. Sure. Sure is needed. So. Yeah. It was good. And if you love your friends, <laughs> might be time to give them a wake up call. Oh. <laughs> Send this to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a wake up call for the people oh, that use their Apple Watch to take calls. <laughs> Cut it out, inspect the gadget. <laughs> Right. Ten. You look so dumb talking to your wrist in the middle of the shopping center. <laughs> Hi, mom. Yeah, I'm getting milk. Over. <laughs> I was put it away, doofenshmirtz. Like <laughs> it looks so stupid, bro. Like I'm not against the Apple Watch. Use the Apple Watch. Close the rings. Do your health checks. All this kind of stuff. <laughs> <coughs> Telephone for phone. Mm. Bro, like uh, I don't know. I saw this woman walking around the mall yesterday. I da, 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 this one, <laughs> and I was just like, "You so goofy." You I'm gonna have so to disagree. Yeah, I was gonna you. say, my, my, yeah. my, you I'm gonna Apple, have to disagree with you. Okay, you, you pick up your phone ever since I got this uh, watch. Gosh, yeah, I've seen it. You okay. it trust has you been the yeah. best thing yeah. that I've ever purchased. You also have a okay. hole in your shirt. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, yeah, run, genuinely, right. this is actually yeah. one of like the best type of thing. Like this is because. If I have this, obviously I'm going to use it to, it's it's for the quick calls, right? Someone mm. calls me, hey, are you busy? Yeah, I'm busy. Let me give you a call back in five minutes. Hang up. That's that's quick. all right, but he's talking about like this lady. Yeah. Like, I'm busy. Hey, babe, what do, you, you what do you reckon I should wait tonight? I'm not going to lie, it's all corny. <laughs> the feature is on there for a reason though. I for know, quick clearly call, people quick use call. it. I do understand. But well, we accommodate for if, 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 <laughs> if I'm in the living room, <laughs> If I'm in the living room and then my phone is charging in my yeah. room and I'm getting a call, Hey, what's up? Just on a real quick thing. That's that's about it. But I would never <sighs> actually have a conversation <laughs> go, go around doing this. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes, and then, and then she said. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he said. I can't well, believe she nah, nah, did that. No, bro, I'm, I'm never doing that. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't co sign this week. Up call. Sign I don't nah. co sign it at all. Because okay, I, I no. love it. Do you agree <laughs> if it's a quick, like what Ma was saying? Yo. I'm gonna call you back in five. I don't know, man. Oh, oh! So I gotta <laughs> run to my room to pick up my phone to say <laughs> I'll call you back in five. Like he's not that crazy. Ah, didn't. shoot! Calls not that important. Nah, nah, shoot, mate. Hey, Jeremy, what do you think? Like, would you on, on a quick thing? You're wearing. Hey, yeah, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll nah, call. Mine's like a. He, he's got the. So the close one. your rings. That's the one. Close your rings. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, <laughs> like, yeah, we will side you on. Nike, it looks kind of weird. I can't lie. <laughs> right, doing this one. Wait, here. but nah. obviously, guys, it's gonna look weird. Nah, it's, I don't it's mind not the meant texting. to look cool. Nah, I don't mind the, te the texting one. Like the distance when you do quick message. Yeah, I've seen that one. I don't yeah. mind yeah. that what? one. Watch. You know when people do the I mean, I've done text. it too, but yeah, it was the longest process in my life. No, no, no. the long thing. Now, if you're doing it for four hours, you're sick of it. But I mean, like, if you. Bro, that's the one where you. Yes. Yeah, and I'm saying the quick one like that, you're cash. But if you're doing, like. You don't want to go out to market? It looks weird, bro. It's just simple. Like, I think it's different though, man. I don't know if you're whisper on their wrist. That's wild. You can do the handwriting. Like, I, ooh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that's, hey, that's what that it is. Yours, hey. Yeah, and just write like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you go to sleep with yours on? No. What Set kind of promise is that? <laughs> nah, to be honest, I'd actually no. do that. i do that if I know <laughs> it's tough for me waking up the next morning. Like, oh, I you tell it, alarm. No, 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 no. Like, I keep it on just to vibrate my hand because I'm like, the phone alarm is not uh, enough to wake me up right now. It's not even the enough. The vibrator wakes you up? Yeah. Hey, could you ask the phones with your watch? Can I? Yeah. What do you mean? I just turned the dial, mate. Ben 10, brother. 
<laughs> what? This guy, I hate Samsung so much. <laughs> Literally. Bro. Yeah, like, what are you guys doing, bro? Or something pops up. That's a hologram, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It doesn't feel right. Bro, I just do that. Boom. Call's been answered. Yeah, thanks, bro. Just like that. And then I accidentally called yeah. back that yeah, person. I have, <laughs> how's the speak on that? Fantastic. Call me right now if you want, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, it's good. So if you got an Apple Watch, just pick up your damn phone. Yeah, pick up your damn phone. <sighs> that's that, man. All right. Something that's real cool today. Oh, actually. jokes, never mind. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. You just, just hey, one hey, last no, thing. No, a lot of this episode's been pretty smart. We're trying to... No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not dumb, but it's just something that I think we uh, should yeah, share run, some light on. It's, I was watching the uh, NBA All-Star today. Okay. Mm. You know what I mean? And it was dope to see halftime. They got Burner Boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's very yeah. Yeah. A lot of African artists. Yeah, it was just yeah. African artists that was okay. actually performing. I was like, this is... Wait, this all, is like All-Star Weekend is right yeah. now. All-Star, yeah. All-Star. I also didn't realize it was right now. Right. Yeah, it's right now. Yeah, this oh, week, yeah. okay, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Because yeah, no, the I have another topic. They're honoring the African uh, NBA Association. Black History yeah. Month? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the Black History Month. And cool. also, it's also like an anniversary for African Association with the NBA or something like that. I see. Um... First of all, they should go play a game in Africa because I know they play the games in London and mm. I think they do some in Paris. So it makes sense to go. Makes sense, Africa, yeah. Africa. Um, second of all, I was going to say this because this is the last episode for February. Isn't it me? Was Black History Month very quiet this year? Like in corporately? Like I feel like, <laughs> you know, normally they drop the sneakers and they drop the yeah, lines everywhere. Everything has been quiet. It's been Across quiet on the, the board, social everything is yeah. quiet. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Every single board. issue. Yeah. Or... You know what I mean? That's no, no, not like bad. Anyway. Like I don't doubt they're, they're doing sometimes, something, but it's just not as loud. Sometimes I don't know. they don't I mean, get they they them right. right. <laughs> they're always doing something, but... Do you reckon? It is a bit quiet. It's just, yeah. Like, I don't know. Because, because all the issues across the board right now is everything is quiet. I feel like people people posted their black squares in 2020 and they said it's alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did I promise my you, part. Bro. They've done it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, what do you think is the most pressing social issue right now? Like the one that you're hearing about the most. I said what's disturbing the peace, right, wasn't it? That was a question I asked. But yeah, what is the most... Bro... <sighs> it's it's yeah I, I really genuinely like things are quiet for the most part that doesn't mean that we're now saying the issues that have actually mm. been spoken about is not it's not an issue it's not big enough no nah, not even it's just not <laughs> there's nothing I don't know people aren't yelling not enough anymore right or anything like so that. I'm not I genuinely don't know what is going on mm. like yeah, yeah. That's true, yeah social social thing socially right yes. like what is causing social unrest yeah man you know what I'm saying I don't know something that should be though mm. is like the Medicaid thing. Mm. You're in Australia? Yeah, that's a bit mad. Yeah. We're not gonna have healthcare, bro. Oh, there's a lot of things oh, that are quite so mad. Yeah. Yeah, wow. like it's mad. Bro. I was yeah, this is work stuff now. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't even, <laughs> yeah, you can't even talk about that one still. Yeah. yeah, so but yeah. yeah Damn. Interesting stuff. Besides that. Hey man, people, drop us, tell us your social issues, man. Yeah. Tell us what we need to be focusing on and what I'm the one needs to be focusing yeah. on. But right now, I need to get out. Jimmy, you gotta get home because you got for a sure. bedtime. I'm hungry. Yeah. All right, thank you for joining us for another episode. You know how this works, right? Awesome. <laughs> 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 no, like. Wait, we didn't ask Jeremy. Where can people catch you? They can. They, they can. can. Catch him, bro. Can't 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 that's why you were saying. That's why I didn't say anything. Yeah, what? LinkedIn? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't catch me. Just on this episode, that's yeah. it. No, no, no. Don't catch me. Don't look for me. Catch this guy, bro. This is the first time people have seen his face, bro. Like, in the world. Don't catch me. Don't look for me. Please, please, please. We're going to have it blurred out. like Literally. Oh, pull out. Pull out. You might have to. Did you get your shots? All right. Wait, wait. What? Thank you for joining us for another episode of Disruption Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share us around. 183 is out next week. Hopefully, we have another guest. Oh, thanks, no. If After 182, it comes yeah, 183. That's how we count. So smart. Crazy. All right. <laughs> peace out. Bye. Goodbye.